Guam will get $200,000 for 1,000 metric tons of fish that will not come out of Guam's waters. Here's more. The Tuna Commission of the National Marine Fisheries Service out of Hawaii regulates the amount of tuna that Hawaii is able to catch in its waters. Likewise, Guam and other territories have a limit that's set based on treaties that have been made between the U.S. and various foreign countries. American Samoa catches about 350 metric tons of big-eye tuna in a year. Messina Maya catches about 5 metric tons. Guam is allowed to catch up to 2,000 metric tons of big-eye tuna in its waters, but since Guam doesn't catch any big-eye tuna because there is no commercial tuna fishing industry in Guam's waters, Guam decided to sell 1,000 metric tons of its allowable catch to Hawaii for $200,000. Guam has zero. We don't catch this fish, uh, but we're getting compensated for it. And the second point is that the fish that is caught by the state of Hawaii or by the Hawaii fishermen will be attributed to Guam's catch. This attributed catch is important because if Guam isn't listed as having any attributable catch, we could lose the ability to catch any big-eye tuna in our waters in the future. The Tuna Commission is meeting right now in Bali, and they may decide tomorrow that we don't get any catch limits. We don't have a quota. And that really scares me because any potential uh, harvesting of any type of fish around Guam, in Guam's waters, may be lost forever. So in a nut graph, Guam is allowed to catch up to 2,000 metric tons of big-eye tuna. Since Guam doesn't use its allowable limit, it is offered to transfer 1,000 metric tons of its allowable limit to Hawaii for $200,000. But Hawaii won't be fishing in Guam's waters. Hawaii will then use the 1,000 metric tons from Guam's limit to fish in its own waters. I frown on the idea of Hawaii boats coming out and fishing in our waters. And that's the best part of this deal, is that they have to stay in their waters to fish. This is a great deal for Guam. Uh, we got the best deal, actually, of all the three Pacific Island areas. Well, that's the great thing about this deal. They're only going to fish in their waters. Duena says the $200,000 that Guan will be getting can then be used for things like extending the fishing platform that will be built at the Paseo or for improvements to the Hagatnya Boat Basin and Agate Marina.